Joining us, Nadia Matar. She's a Jewish activist, and she is, it's the called the uh, uh, Women for Israel's Tomorrow. Is that correct? The Sovereignty Movement. The Sovereignty Movement. I'm sorry. Okay. Why don't you give out your website also so people can uh, find you? Our website is Ribonut, which means sovereignty, R-I-B-O-N-U-T dot C-O dot I-L, and people can do go there. And in a, very soon, in the next hour, we're going to put up a statement uh, of our position on what is going on. Okay, so that's Ribonut dot C-O dot I-L, you said? Yes. Okay, go ahead. All right, so what's the statement going to be? Uh, well, we haven't translated it completely into English yet, but I will give you the uh, main gist of it. Okay. The uh, obviously we are now uh, undergoing a 9/11 of the state of Israel, um, a very big uh, tragedy and a very big um, failure of the security forces and of the entire system and of the entire concept of 30 years of Oslo. But all that I don't want to discuss now. All the mistakes that have been done and all the uh, incredible. Uh, um, lack of understanding of where we live and what is going on, because that we will be able to discuss later. What we are putting out as a statement now, and that is what needs to be done, in addition, of course, to strengthen our soldiers, who all our sons, our son-in-laws, our cousins, everybody is in, uh, there, and to strengthen them and give them chizuk. What we has to be, the call now has to be, and that is what we're coming out with, that it is that we need to not only carpet bomb Gaza, that we need to completely destroy Gaza, but we have to return there once and for all. Don't We, we just put out a letter to the uh, prime minister telling, telling him exactly that. Don't you dare bring in our sons and, uh, and have our sons fight a war in order to afterwards have some kind of ridiculous again ceasefire and uh, uh, and leave again and pretend that we can continue in a situation to uh, leave Gaza uh, to Hamas or any anybody else here, here. Gaza belongs to the state of Israel is Jewish land and we have to once and for all understand that the concept of uh, unilateral uh, uh, leaving of the land of Israel or from abandoning parts of the land of Israel whether it's there or in other, or any other part, is only going to bring destruction and havoc. Now is the time for Prime Minister uh, Bibi Netanyahu, who uh, who is going to obviously uh, pay the price politically for what is happening here, uh, at least maybe to to recover himself by doing what the majority of the Jewish people voted him to do and expect him to do now after the 9-11 that we are... That we are uh, the hundreds of dead people here is like thousands of dead in America at the time. And we expect the Prime Minister of Israel, we don't even understand why there's still one building standing in in Gaza. We don't understand why they're still continuing to shoot missiles. How come they even dare to put out their nose out of their houses? We need to carpet bomb Gaza, and we need to return there once and for all and bring back Jewish sovereignty to the area there. Only when the Jews are in control of the land of Israel, there is uh, 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 no uh, uh, terror. Terror is when we abandon the land of Israel to people who we fake as if they can take control of those areas, our enemies. That is basically the message of our press release or our letter to the prime minister. And we call upon each and one of you now to do two things. Anybody who hears now, when you are at home and you're going, you're climbing up the walls asking yourself, what can I do? Number one, find, of course, ways to send money to the army. We get requests all the time of the army and needs, the soldiers need all kinds of things from, from uh, socks and underwear and, 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 and basic stuff and find some reliable uh, uh, um, connection that actually will make sure the money goes to the soldiers. That's, that's for the tachlet to help the soldiers. But, but in order to also uh, uh, have a, an impact on the um, message, on what the people of the lovers of Israel expect, uh, uh, go into the Knesset website and the, uh, for the Prime Minister Office website, look for the email, there's the emails, there's phone numbers, and bomb bombard with emails, of course, uh, uh, and phone, phone calls 
the simple message, carpet bomb Gaza and return Israeli sovereignty, return the Jews to Gaza, expel all the Arab terrorists and their supporters once and for all. That is going to be a game changer. Nothing else. Stop telling us that you're just going into, as unfortunately some, some people say, we're going to give them a lesson. We don't need to give them a lesson. We need to wipe them out. We need to wipe out Hamas. We need to wipe out Gaza, uh, 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 um, how do you call them, the uh, jihad and all the other things. Oh, uh, uh, that is the one and only message. Uh, we, were, we were humane enough to have a prime minister who warned the civilian population in Gaza yesterday, I suggest you should leave. So we did our humanitarian a- a- act. That's enough. Nadia, uh, some people, uh, I've been watching the talking heads on television, and they were saying that if we carpet bomb Gaza, what about the hostages that are being held there? They would be killed as well. What would you say? I say that we have to do, Israel has to do what has to be done. I'm not going to give advice now to the army. The army knows exactly uh, where they are, or should know, I hope they know, we used to think that we have a good intelligence uh, since yesterday. Obviously, that is being in, put into doubt now. But from what uh, we understand, Israel knows exactly where they are. And when we say carpet bomb, obviously, they have to know where to bomb and where not to bomb. I'm not going to go into into military details on a radio show now. Mm-hmm. But the, the, the fact that there are Jews there... Uh, um, uh, uh, implies that they have to know exactly how to carpet bomb the very fact that they're not bombing now. There's plenty of areas where they know that the Jews are not being held, and those areas shouldn't be able to breathe. Mm-hmm. Wow. And uh, is there anything else that you want to share with us before... Uh... I want to share with you that the people of Israel are strong, and that we are not going to be broken, and that Am Israel Chai, and that God is on our side. And as the Pasuk says, the verse says in, uh, in Bamidbar, Hen Am Akum, we are going to rise up as a lion. Yes, they surprise us. Yes, but they don't know who they're dealing with. The Jewish people is invincible. The Jewish people is strong. And Am Israel Chai, and we're not going to be broken, and we are very heartbroken. Broken, and we we are sad and we are upset and we are angry, but nobody's going to break us. It's only going to determine the Jewish people even more to stick to the land of Israel, to be loyal to the land of Israel. You should see the. Uh, I, we, I beg everybody. I beg my children. I beg my daughters, especially. Of course, all their husbands are in the war. Don't look at the terrible, horrible pictures that the Hamas is spreading on the internet. Look at the beautiful pictures of our soldiers who are all going there with in two enthusiasm to fight for their country, to fight for their land. That is what patriotism is about. The Jewish people will arise, will, will, is, is, high the kayam, is alive and well. Yes, we got a blow. We have received a blow. Oh, we don't, yeah, they don't know yet, our enemy, what blow they're going to get. They're going to get such a blow, Be'ezrat Hashem, please God. But it depends very much on what the demand of the people is. We have to stop being so uh, uh, merciful, uh, uh, um, there's a saying in, in Hebrew that says, Whoever is merciful to the wicked people, to the, uh, uh, um, to the cruel, help yeah. me here with the, the translation. Cruel, the cruel. Cruel, cruel, to the cruel, cruel people, yeah. Do, if you, uh, anybody who is, how do you say, uh, 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 my Hebrew now in my translation. Okay, anyway, Nadia. if you are mild, if you are nice to cruel people, then it will boomerang back, and 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 the the, the cruel people will 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 be cruel to you. Mm-hmm. Enough with giving with this Christian thing of giving out the the other cheek. Enough with looking over our back and our shoulder. What is America gonna say? America, who is the one who is giving billions of dollars to Iran, who pretends the the last two days that they're with us? They're not with us. President Biden has been giving billions to the to Iran, and then he's giving two sentences, oh, we are with you? You're not with us. You are giving billions to the Iranians. What is happening in the last two days? That is Iran. And you, President Biden, you gave part of that. Uh, you are part of that. You are a, an accomplice of this terrible massacre that we are undergoing because you have given strength to the Iranians and to the Iranian proxies in Gaza and everywhere else. So don't tell us now that you're on our side. If you are on our side, you would stop giving Iran anything. You would uh, 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 call for the stopping to give electricity to the Gaza Strip, to stop giving them water. And 
we don't have to listen to what President Biden is saying. We have to now do what is good for the Jewish people. We have to do what God expects us to do, what the Bible expects us to do. That is the most moral thing to do. To be moral is to fight for the people who are right and to uh, carpet bomb and and uh, 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 finish the, the 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 wicked people who are who are murdering us. By the way, just as a first step, again, for those non-Jews who listen, remember, the main slogan by the Arabs, Arabs is first the Saturday people, then the Sunday people. What they do to the Jews, the Saturday people, they dream of doing to the entire Western world. So when you're on the side of Israel against the Hamas, against what they're doing now, and if you're helping Israel, you're helping yourself also. You're helping those on the right side. And in the end, I know we're going to overcome, we're going to be victorious, because I'm Israel Chai. We are strong, and nobody, nobody is going to uh, 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 break us. We are invincible. God is on our side. Please, God. Do you all see why I love this woman? God bless you, Nadia Matar. I couldn't have said it better myself. Thank you so much. And Am Yisrael Chai, the nation Am of Israel, Israel Chai. lives. That's right. And we are not going anywhere. Thank you so much, Nadia. You be strong. Bye-bye. I know you've got children and uh, son-in-laws, etc., in the army. And God bless them all and keep them safe. Amen. Amen. All Thank of them. You. Amen. Be well. Bye-bye.